Yes, yes, it's finally here. All right, start of the new week, and I couldn't be more excited because my new personal planner is here. Um, I don't know if it's weird to get that much excitement out of a new planner, but it's so hard for me to get a planner that I actually do like and enjoy and fits my needs. That's why I always like to custom tailor my personal planners according to my needs. And this just about does it. Um, it's a Swedish company, personalplanner.com. I will also provide a link to their site in the description page down below this video. So you can go check them out. You can customize just about anything and everything about the planner, including the different formats. Uh, this is actually my second time ordering a planner from them. Their prices are pretty, pretty reasonable for, you know, considering it's a customized planner. But I cannot say good enough things about this planner. Um, the first time around that I ordered my planner, it took about two to three weeks. This time it actually took maybe like, what, a week? Yeah, I think I ordered it last week. So, perfect, expedited shipping. Nothing to complain about. They actually included stickers with it. I don't believe I ordered them. That's awesome. Planners are important. Stay organized. So I just remember, I actually have to uh, research research for some spare parts on the Impala that we towed um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, we have to fix it up. There's been, uh, there's actually a bunch of parts that we need to get fixed to even start thinking about what the underlying issue is. Because whenever, whenever you start it on, there's like this clank and clap and uh, really loud tick to it. it. It sounds like it's coming from the bottom of the engine, but uh, there's actually problems with the steering rack, uh, the flywheel, uh, it has an exhaust leak. So we need to fix all of that first before we even start thinking about going deeper into it. So um, I got to do that. Last week, I was kind of looking into uh, my editing software specifically uh should i upgrade to uh currently i'm using the adobe premiere pro cc sorry cs6 and i'm thinking of upgrading to cc reason for that is the cc version has this really neat plugin it's called uh lumetri or something like that and it's a tab, a built-in plugin specifically dedicated to uh, color correction, grading, and white balance. Something that the CS6 version doesn't have, or it, it does, but it's very limited in what you can do, especially when it comes to the white balance. Long story short, in uh, one of my other vlogs, uh, I think the surgery vlog, uh, there, there, there's a few clips where the white balance is really off, it's really blue, and it was set wrong on the camera. I didn't notice it until after I shot it, and was attempting to correct that in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, and I could only work with one channel. Like It wasn't adjusting the midtones separately, uh, the highlights and uh, the shadows, which is what you really need if you really want to get rid of that bluish tinge. So, unbeknownst to me, Adobe switched from the Creative Suite to Creative Cloud. What it means, what it means is, basically right now, instead of having a standalone version of a program or app, as they call it right now, it's a subscription type uh, platform. So, meaning you have to pay to play. Uh, at this point, I don't know how to feel about that because I have been thinking of switching a program, one that better suits my needs. I don't know if the answer lies within the CC program or completely switching to Mac and Final Cut Pro. That is a possibility for me too and I sort of always wanted to try it out. and. <clears throat> 
because I've never owned a Mac, but uh, I've been hearing from people that Macs are generally better when it comes to editing music and video. Personally, I think it's what you can do with the program as opposed to the program doing it for you, but that switch might happen. We all died because she broke the wagon. So today is a possible shooting day for a friend. She wants a couple of pictures taken. Not sure if it's gonna happen, but it was on the plan for today. I don't know what time, but that might happen today. So my hair keeps getting crazier every time I turn this thing on. Look at that. Oh wow, that's bright. Oh wow, this light's pretty good. Anyway, so the shoot uh, it ended up happening. It was a success. Uh, took a bunch of photos of a friend who wanted to be immortalized with her baby bump. So it was a quite nice change of pace actually. You know, sort of having work to do for a client. Got the photos edited and uh, yeah, very nice change of pace to do some photography for a change. And tomorrow, we'll wrap up this week, this vlog. And I still haven't made up my mind about what program I'm going to keep on using. I'm most likely going to stick with what I got right now. Or, yeah, I haven't made up my mind yet.